what's going on <clears throat> it is sunday the day sunday before may the 9th whatever it's date it is may the 5th i guess we're gonna practice the 6th 7th and 8th we're already qualified for the 2020 fow tour so we're not going to practice four days for any of these last two tournaments in the uh costas central division we're going to practice three days nonetheless and we're going to gamble a little bit more in these um Still going to try to be versatile and move around and catch limits and try to catch good fish. But if we get a couple bites doing one of my deals, we're going to really, really lean on it. You know, if we got four fish or just say we got three fish at 12, we ain't going to just pick up a shaky head and try to catch five. We're going to try to catch a big bag. So we're trying to win Table Rock. We're trying to win Lake of the Ozarks. These are the type of lakes I actually do like fishing. I prefer to fish lakes that fish really big. Lakes like Santee Cooper, they fish kind of small because there's very few productive areas. I mean, they, they're huge lakes and there's tons of cover, but there's so much dead water. Um, Okeechobee's the same way, there's just so much dead water. All these big Florida lakes that have, it's basically soft bottom lakes. Lakes with a soft bottom always fish very, very small because bass don't like soft bottoms. So you gotta find those certain areas that have hard bottoms. Table Rock, Ozarks, all these Ozark lakes, you don't got that problem. It's solid rock, a fish could live literally anywhere. The trick is finding those bigger than average, big large mouth, or else those really good sized small mouth. So, the lake's flooded, we flipping, we frogging, let's get up there and catch us some big ones. Well, nine hours later, 600 miles, there's a first glimpse of the lake dirty windshield that's what happens when you drive that many miles in a day check out this lake Got all them trees in the water so much wood in the water right now it's gonna be fun it's gonna be really hard to find them because it's flooded there's a lot of stuff in the water we're gonna find us some stained water we're gonna catch them this week one thing I have fished this lake before like seven years ago I fished it fished a big tournament here I actually did pretty well in it but that's completely different and we're doing scrapping it we're running all new water but this place is crystal clear it's awesome happy to be here tired of driving drove like nine and a half hours today so let's catch a bass okay so i'm gonna do y'all solid right now if you ever come to any of these ozark lakes table rock bull shoals norfolk any of these type of highland reservoir lakes do not come without one of these or a bunch of them that whopper plopper is the deal up here like 10 months out of the year like i guarantee you somebody will top 10 this tournament throwing only a whopper plopper all day for three days or for two days that's how you top 10 it i fished a tournament on north fork in december one time and i was like oh, there's nowhere they're biting top water everybody in the whole like top 10 was throwing this freaking thing it's the deal up here on these clear water lakes i don't know why i guess they just come from so deep to eat it do not come up here with that one Canine pink braid. dark now i actually could fish a little while longer but i'm not in the area i want to fish in at all this is the area that we are blasting off from and there are a lot of fish on bed right now it's so clear it's too clear is the problem i mean i can see these fish from so far away and they can see me from even further i didn't touch a single fish today let me buckle up i got y'all in the dark for real i didn't touch a single fish today i did have one fish hooked it's like a 14 inch spot <clears throat> and I lost him right at the trolling motor had a two and a half pounder bite on bed which obviously I'm not gonna catch it and then had another one 
that was probably I don't know how big he was. I couldn't tell because I couldn't tell how deep he was for sure. But he bit three or four times. I never got him to bite good enough where I could hook him because I was actually trying to catch him. <clears throat> but nonetheless, they're spawning all over the place right now, and in places where I would not have expected them to spawn. So we kind of are seeing where they're spawning. Now we just got to find those three pound plus ones. We can mark us like 20 or so of them three pounders, two and a half to three pounders, and then go flip up a couple big ones a day. This could be a fun tournament. So we, we are shooting for it on this one big time. Like I said earlier, we ain't laying up and trying to catch us no 12 pounds a day. We're going for it this time. You can't tell here, but there's a boat ramp under the water right there somewhere. We are not putting in there because I can't see the daggum boat ramp. And I ain't trying to tear this beauty up, trying to put it in there. But man, look at this watercolor. Look at them bushes in the water. If this doesn't look like a place Kyle Welcher would be fishing, nothing does. This place up here is beautiful. Check out where I just put in. First ramp I went to. Didn't have no concrete pad that I could see. This one, the ramp is over there in the middle, way out there somewhere. We just put in right here on the asphalt. Couple more crazy people did it, so I was like, I'll follow them. We in there. This looks like a place I'll be fishing, no doubt. Look at all that. A little bit of stain. All these bushes and stuff in the water. Looks good. That's my first table rock bass in about seven years. Need to get a lot bigger than that. Flipped in a bush and he was there. We're gonna catch a few more. We're probably gonna catch one good one and then be done. Maybe we're gonna go shaking some off, so. We're gonna set the hook till we catch one at least. Three pounder, I guess. All right, I said I was gonna catch one three pounder. There he is. Time to start shaking. He's probably a three. We'll weigh him just to see. I think he's like a three three. Three six. He's almost a three and a half. Look at that dude. Well, he's beat up though. And big female. So I'll tell you, I'm anticipating this area of the lake being too muddy by tournament time. Right now it's perfectly fine. But I'm assuming that all this rain we're getting, this is going to be way too muddy. Now I could be wrong, I'm probably gonna still come up here in the tournament. I mean, I've narrowed it down to two areas. There's this creek. There's actually three main tributaries that you could go up and it could be muddy water. This one, the other one is probably too long of a drive. I don't think it's worth it. These types of lakes, the fish, they all kind of fish the same. So usually these lakes like this, every area has about the same quality fish. It's just about finding which ones are, are you know, doing the right thing for the right amount of time. So I narrow it down to two areas I really wanna target this one and then one more so we're going to check the other one probably tomorrow evening or else wednesday morning and then make a decision from there but this area looks really really good to me right now so this may be where we spend the tournament we need five like that one every day and we'll be close okay so we're right on the like the the line of where the water goes from clear to stained and that's where i always like to be you know, fish that are live in clear water, you know, 10 months out of the year, they bite big time when the water gets a little stained. So, look at this crap, man. Look, look behind me. All this stuff. So good looking. Problem is, there's too much of it. Look at 
That was a nine keeper, a little 14 incher on this one of these straight banks. The kind of I was talking about I'm gonna catch some off of. Cause I don't think you're gonna catch any females on these kind of banks, at least not with any. New Berkeley flipping bait. Pretty little one. I don't know what it's called exactly, but it's actually got a good color to it. It's green pumpkin on top and a little bit of chartreuse on bottom. I can't remember the name of it. Let me look. One minute since the last one. Hmm. They're on these green bushes on these points, which I guess they always are. Just gotta find the large mouth. Good one I did catch today was kind of off some isolated stuff on the back of a cut so that's really the main reason I'm flipping this because I don't really need to catch big ones today I just need to know that I'm not wasting any time in the tournament so we're trying to just see if we do start catching you know a big one an hour doing this or something it'd be worth it because you got eight hours but you know if you catch a big one a day it's not worth it because we need five big ones so we're gonna flip a lot more of this stuff in the next couple days and then just try to make sure we're dialed in. Cause in the tournament you can run new water, it's not a problem. You just pull up, fish it, leave, pull up, fish it, leave, pull up, fish it, leave. You can make a hundred stops. You only gotta be right five times. And sometimes you'll catch two out of one stop. So you might only need to be right two or three times in a day to have a big bag. So we're gonna eliminate this and catch some in the meantime. There's a long one. That one's a keeper. I can't grab the line. Pretty sure this one's a keeper. He's pretty long. Yeah, no doubt. Still don't weigh enough. He's probably a little bit less than two pounds. And he's right here on this, you know, this bank is real straight. What I'm saying by that is. There's just these real straight banks that just have staggered little debris mats on them and bushes and stuff. And you can flip them and get a lot of bites, obviously, but it's just hard to get a big one. But we're actually getting so many bites now, it kind of makes me think this is the thing to do because I got to just figure if you if you set the hook 50 times doing this in a day, three of them's got to be three and a half, four pounders. And on this lake, I mean, we're, we're looking at 19 pounds a day to win if it's huge weights and probably like 17 a day to win so you know we only need two or three good bites a day and then you know some two and a halves Spot of bass. Mm. Well, I snatched that one sky high. Just got off the phone with Miss Hunter. Caught one on the phone with her, then just caught that one. They're still not what I want. I mean, obviously, 
if this is the biggest ones I'm catching here, I would rather run fresh, completely new water on a different area than come up here. But we're getting bites, flipping. I like it. There's a lot of current out here. We're actually in a big eddy right now. And it's the current is supposed to be coming this way, and it's actually hitting and coming this way. And uh, it's washing all this log jam stuff up in this pocket. So I'll need to remember this creek if I come up here because it's going to have a lot of really, really gnarly stuff in the back of it. If, you know, we come up this way, we'll definitely go hit some of that. So lots of fish in all these isolated places. You can see now, you know, there'll be some stretches where there's no trees in front of me for a while. Then all of a sudden there'll be a tree here and there. That's what you really want. You don't want those just miles and miles of just every cast could be a fish. You want it where it's just sporadically, you know, some places for them to actually hold. So this is what we want to do hunter see you soon got to win this one first though so you can see all that right there everything and all this bin all that stuff up there that's all spare stuff that i take with me to all these tournaments and i have a ton of stuff in my boat this is pretty much all duplicates so i just got home this is me actually me editing this video and obviously like always i never do enough talking during the videos so i caught so many fish on this first day of practice I actually, I'm going through this stuff right now. I'm completely out of all my, I'm not completely out, but I'm, I don't have enough brush hogs and beavers and stuff to, you know, make it through the next couple months of fishing. So I actually found a site online, Sportsman's Outfitters, where they sell every single bait cheaper than anywhere I've ever seen in my whole life. I'm ordering brush hogs and all my ledge baits, everything. They beat everybody's prices on everything. Even like jackhammer chatter baits. I just ordered five because they're cheaper than I've ever seen them. So anyways, y'all do yourself a favor, go save some money, shop at Sportsman's Outfitters. But anyways, I got to order all kinds of stuff because we were catching so many fish a day. Like seriously, 30 fish a day was, was a slow day. Table Rock was unbelievable. So I'm going to show y'all all the fish catches because if you're like me, you like seeing fish catches, especially using a seven and a half foot flipping stick and I'm just jacking them out of them bushes. That's so much fun for me to watch. So I'm going to show it to y'all. I didn't do enough talking though, so that's why I have to do this to end this video. As always, guys, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. This was a fun tournament. Man, it's fun to catch fish. My hands are beat up and bloody. I'm going to show you all the stuff. Stay tuned. Hit the subscribe button. Check out the next video. See you.